This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Hi, Hello. Hey, hi. Uh, sorry for interruption. Uh, we we mm -hmm. are basically non-financing sector. I mean, non-finance background. So okay. That's why could you please discuss the topics with briefly? Okay, so uh, is your question uh, since uh, since uh, you are from not not finance background, so yeah, whether yeah. this course is suitable for you or not? Is that the question? Yeah. So basically, see, uh, uh, basically ERP uh, finance side it involves some accounting, uh, mm -hmm. but this process is mm -hmm. automated. I mean, you don't need to go and write the accounting rules you don't need to go and write the journals right i mean uh, when if you are going to write the, your journals manually in a book you should know something i mean which account you need to debit which account you need to credit but that entire process is automated in erp so it is not an issue uh, for anyone uh, who is from uh, the technical background maybe bsc or btech they can also uh, proceed with the course because i have seen many consultants who are from uh, non finance background as well as i have seen uh, the uh, few consultants with the some of the occasional courses as well so it depends how you project yourself uh, in the interview that's it i mean for an interview for an interviewer he looks whether whether the my requirement is met or not i mean no one cares about your uh, uh, the educational background that as far as i know because even i also do that in my while i'm in interview panel did that answer your question yeah yeah thank you thank you anyone has any questions okay i take it that as no and uh, just i'll move forward okay so uh, as i said the topics for today are uh, the uh, various uh, the uh, transaction flow processes that exist in oracle oracle so there are many flows uh, i have i have listed uh, two flows uh, which are procure to pay and order cash which are directly linked to your financials so these two flows, uh, there are, there is a, another flow called uh, maybe your HCM. I mean uh, the uh, employee, right? Uh, from from recruitment to the retirement. Even that is also considered one of the flow. And your assets uh, acquired to retire, even that is also considered one of the flow. But the assets flow, it is part of uh, procure to pay. So you don't need to worry. If you are familiar with these two process flows, it is enough for you to crack the interview. So even not the complete process flow, uh, as part of your experience, you will be involving only the finance finance piece of uh, these two order uh, flows, uh, which are required for you. So you will come to know where exactly where exactly your role in these uh, process flows. Okay. So uh, let us move to the flows. Okay, so procure to pay. I have a procure to pay is for, uh, for the procurement process uh, where you procure the material, uh, the raw material required uh, for you uh, in order to make uh, your business run or you make some products, right? For that purpose, you use the procure to pay. So uh, for that, it uh, the uh, there is a certain process flow uh, that is being laid down, so that needs to be followed. Uh, similarly, it is the same for order to cash. So maybe instead of uh, I have the PPT ready with me, but instead of PPT, what I'll do is I'll I'll, I'll uh, uh, take you through the Excel. Maybe it helps you guys uh, better understand rather than going into the uh, PPT. Okay, okay. So uh, let us uh, we'll we'll take as an example of uh, one organization. Uh, say uh, assume that. Uh, you are an organization of which you manufacture something and uh, you do the uh, sales activity of the uh, same products so that it will be understand for you uh, what exactly this process and where it uh, which departments of your organization talks uh, talks about these processes and where exactly those departments are mapped into oracle right so erp whatever the erp 
the software that is being built it has to meet your business processes the alignments so the traditional whatever the uh, departments you have uh, in your business that has to be fulfilled by one of the uh, offering or module or process or form by the oracle right so it is not that the business will align to the uh, uh, software it is the statement is software has to align to the business process okay so let me take an example what i'll for for your understanding what i'll i'll uh, just an uh, a simple example lemon term example i'll take and i'll, I'll consider the uh, this window this uh, area as your organization okay so let me draw a picture here okay this is your uh, organization abc123 and what you do uh, what you do here is uh, assume that what products i mean uh, once you you are an organization so you are into a manufacturing organization or you are into a distribution organization what you do there are, there will be some certain products right i mean uh, you would be uh, manufacturing something and it, uh, once it is done then you would sell to the your uh, exist uh, the available customer in the market so that you will earn revenue out of which you would make profits right that is the process right so assume that you are in a small organization where you uh, manufacture pens and pencils okay and also and also what you do is you uh, also sell the books but you get uh, you acquire it from the other other vendors in the market okay okay so this is your organization so uh, this is your uh, uh, the left hand side assume that it talks about your uh, p2p flow and uh, right hand side it talks about your o2c flow okay so guys don't get confused if you struck somewhere or if you if you are not getting the things just immediately please uh, stop me okay thank you so as we said uh, the abc 123 company which is a manufacturing company it manufactures pens and pencils uh, and also uh, it buy book, books in the open market and it in return it sells it to the customers okay so for this example what is this in order to make the pens and pencils you would need some material right where do you maintain those materials you would maintain some inventories right so that is called your inventory department and so you would also procure these materials as we, as i said uh, these materials are procured from outside vendors there would be suppliers who supply this raw material so uh, the raw material is let us say the uh, plastic plastic wood whatever right assume whatever just for example purpose okay so this this material has to be uh, borrowed from the open market or the from the existing supplier that is handled by your purchasing department right purchasing department okay once you purchase what what, what do you do you you uh, procured some material from the uh, suppliers and you need to uh, pay right so the payments all it comes into the, your finance department so this finance may be split further depends upon the organizations few uh, few companies will have their uh, uh, accounts payable uh, department separate and the cash management different separate so sometimes they call cash management and some uh, clients they call just treasury department it's it's uh, just a, uh, according to the company's uh, terms they use okay so far is it clear 
what we are uh, going to discuss yes yes okay fair excellent so we are clear we are going to uh, procure the material uh, from the suppliers so these are the departments the column listed departments listed under column g are the department names associated with your business so these departments has to be supported by oracle right so these departments are supported by oracle with one of the applications and offering that we discussed right yesterday we were, we have discussed each of the business process is uh, supported by an application application is linked to the offering so it is kind of a layered uh, structure that we discussed so remember if, if if you can so what what inventory does is it maintains the inventory balances so so uh, let us say you uh, you are, you are going to manufacture pens and pencil as 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 agreed uh, you are now you are supposed to procure the material from the supplier plastic and wood okay so you are uh, purchasing uh, the uh, the plastic raw plastic and wood uh, from the supplier called what shall i write sam okay supplier okay so how do you go and talk to the supplier uh, saying that i need this material correct it, it has to be interacted to with this uh, specific uh, supplier right even the supplier may be an organization may be an individual so if it is an organization there uh, definitely they would also have their sales department so it is it is the purchasing department of our company is go and talk to the uh, supplier department about this material which we require okay so as an organization what you do is you don't go and uh, buy the material i mean is it the practice that we go and buy the material i have to manufacture pens and pencil right now uh, by end of the today and uh, today morning that i'm going to get the material that is not the practice right we will every organization will have their projection how how many uh, how how much quantity i'm going to manufacture for this uh, month maybe for this quarter and in order to make that product how much material i would require right that is called planning every company will be doing every company will do such kind of plannings to be able to maintain the uh, process in an effective way so say, by saying that planning so you would already you would already procure the material uh, in uh, procure the material from supplier and that you maintain in inventories right that is where your inventory comes into picture so the procured material from the uh, suppliers are maintained in in your inventory model okay so i have the inventories uh, uh, the uh, plastic and raw plastic and wood in my inventory today i am going to manufacture my target is today i am going to manufacture 100 pens and pencils so uh, what i do uh, my my department my uh, uh, purchasing department what they do is inventory department what they do is they go on simply they go and check their inventories right so whether i have this uh, sufficient uh, balance of inventory or not so if if i have then what i do i simply move the inventories from uh, the raw material from plastic and wood from my inventory and uh, uh, for the manufacturing unit but let us say you have shortage of uh, your raw material then you would go for procurement outside so in what transaction that is recorded in oracle for this respect to uh, procurement is called is requisition okay we would discuss all these transaction type in detail once you are into the subledger the uh, payables and uh, uh, the receivables you would uh, what exactly it is and how it how it is, uh, impacts your uh, business how you are going to record the income okay 917581 917581 okay. 
Yeah, can you please, someone, can you please go on mute if you don't mind? Thanks for that. Yeah. That is the uh, once the requisition, so once the requisition is uh, made saying that it is an alert to your uh, purchasing department saying, boss, we need a material uh, for manufacturing, which needs to be procured. So what the purchasing people will do is they will request the uh, suppliers. I mean, uh, you don't uh, generally what you do when, when you buy when you go and buy for any material let us say you are going for to buy a mobile do you go and uh, purchase it directly from one vendor one shop you go and inquire different uh, vendors right so just to what what is the purpose of doing that to get the advantage of maybe the pricing maybe the quality there are different factors okay so for the purpose as an individual we are going into the shop but whereas in an organization what what we ask is we ask the supplier for the quotations okay so bus i need i need pl raw plastic and wood uh, for certain quantities maybe in uh, uh, 100 kg what is the price that you can give me so when you, when you can give me what is the mode of uh, transport you can provide so those are all mentioned in rfq so we'll ask the supplier to provide the data in in the form of rfq so once as a return to the rfq supplier will say that i'll provide uh, the 100 kg 100 kg 100 kg of the plastic and wood at a cost of let us say uh, 20 rupees per kg supplier a supplier b may, may quote for uh, less and uh, supplier c may quote for more than 21 so this return will come in for in form of quotation right so what we are we ask the customers uh, we ask the sorry we ask the suppliers uh, uh, for the quotations and we have requested the suppliers for quotation in return uh, supplier has given the quotation i can supply this price so what you do as a company you would choose you would go for the best option so out of you do the quote analysis and you go for the uh, you go and pick the one supplier from which source you can buy the material okay so once you are decided with the uh, a supplier then let us say in this case you would like to go with uh, supplier c since is quoting uh, at less price i would take i would take this advantage of uh, uh, price factor so i ask supplier b to procure the material right so what what happens is this transaction is recorded in oracle is purchase order okay Right, there are different types of purchase orders. We will come soon. We will, uh, will come to know when we when we actually execute this uh, procure today cycle in application. Right. Okay. So we uh, uh, we placed an order uh, with the supplier B was saying this uh, material has to be uh, delivered to my inventory uh, located in so and so address. So what what uh, purchase supplier will do is he'll send the goods to the mentioned uh, address which is your inventory organization. So once you receive the material, you need to acknowledge that, right? So that is that is where call GRN, goods receipt note or receipt we call in Oracle. So what it will do, you have ordered something in your uh, order something and uh, against your order, the order is fulfilled you got some material so it is at your inventory you have received so your inventory is get updated and uh, you are giving the customer about the notifi notification notify that boss i have received this uh, this this quantity the plastic maybe whatever the raw plastic or what okay so once the receiving is done so uh, obviously after agreed terms maybe you would be paying the depends upon the supplier immediately or uh, after uh, one month or 15 days 45 days depends upon the agreement with the supplier 
you would go for the payment but for that once once the uh, uh, goods are received the supplier will give you an invoice when you procure when you procure something uh, from market you would get an invoice so the invoice in the invoice you get from the supplier and that you record in your application article right so that is called supplier invoice which department of your uh, company will do this anyone payable department right accounts payable yes exactly so once the payable uh, once you have the invoice and the agreement term says you need to pay within one week so after one week you are you are uh, supposed to pay the uh, payment to the supplier maybe it is an uh, check or electronic transfer uh, or cash whatever mode so what you do is payment so again which department of your company will does this activity maybe your accounts payable at depends depends okay so this is uh, till this process you are talking uh, your uh, business is interaction with supplier and the same process flow is being recorded in oracle in different forms of transactions the quotations sorry the uh, i think somewhere it got missed first it starts with the recreation yeah the recreation request for rfq quotation from the supplier based on best quote you go for the purchase order and once the in, uh, material received you uh, issue an uh, receipt and uh, goods receipt note uh, you would uh, expect a sub invoice from the supplier against which you are going to make a payment so once you are uh, done with, with with your payment you should also later point right at the month end or at least month end or at end of the day you would reconcile uh, right i mean uh, whether the same amount is being paid from my bank or not i need to tie up my balances whatever the balance i maintain in my uh, application that should match with uh, your bank right that is where you do reconciliation reconciliation with bank okay so this is uh, the high level view of procure to pay flow where the different steps involved but from this entire flow though it is straightforward this is the widely used uh, uh, case cycle that every company follows but where is our role as a finance consultant this is where actually you involve right you will be creating an invoice and making payment that's it the entire process the uh, before invoicing entire process is handled in procurement and supply chain uh, departments which are headed by a different consultant so you don't need to bother about the about that and the let them take their headache we are not bothered about this process but as a consultant you should know this process okay is that clear any questions on uh, the p2p flow so far yeah uh, hi tripathi just i yeah. just want to know that here you have mentioned some a b c these are the requirements quotations what we get from the supplier right so after right. the once finalization of supplier that we chose b but okay. yeah, my doubt is i think some b should be there in oracle right it comes ah, under that, uh, master that, that is what where is your, uh, masters if you remember uh, if you are there in yesterday class we have we had uh, the very first process i discussed is the uh, master data right the master yeah. data is is the combination of it what it includes is your suppliers your customers 
your bank your banks right i mean in order to before booking an invoice obviously you should have uh, uh, supplier uh, as a record in your system yeah means after selecting the b supplier we need to maintain this b data in the, our vendor master so this is also comes under this uh, procurement uh, uh, track only it's not comes under finance right yes yes i mean it depends actually see there are uh, different uh, i mean uh, see as a consultant once you are onboarded into the uh, project i mean there are uh, tasks which are uh, handled which can be handled by both consultant both tracks consultant it is in finance and uh, uh, the scm or procurement okay so it is a mutual agreement how how uh, what what you are going to agree with uh, you are the consultant i mean maybe i mean in my experience supplier sometimes i have handled sometimes the acm consultant handle it is it depends upon the uh, the agreement but generally it comes under uh, acm track okay okay so since it is uh, linked with the finance so there are uh, um, uh, maybe you uh, you are not aware of that but uh, when we discuss about the supplier we would uh, definitely discuss what is the structure i mean it is not the uh, supplier just the supplier name we insert into the database right it, it has the structure so since every package it, it 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 stores the data in a structure right so for the supplier also how you how you store your data how you record your data in a structured manner so in uh, some of the structure layers you would need the uh, the financial information which needs to be stored for each supplier so that is where actually the uh, uh, confusion i mean whether the finance should handle whether the procurement or scm should handle that is i mean it is not a big deal though, who maintains this one for the at least for the master data but uh, supplier creation it is uh, in general supplier creation is owned by your uh, the procurement department because because that is the team which actually actively involves in procurement right so logically or uh, process wise if you speak yes it is owned by the procurement or your scm team because they are going into the market uh, they are going to interact with the uh, suppliers available in the market uh, so they are going to identify the suppliers uh, uh, from whom uh, uh, we can uh, request for a quotation so so that is how it happens in in general business the same process we lay down in uh, in oracle did i answer your question yeah yeah yes sir thank you thank you uh, tripathi yeah please uh, what is meant by p2p and what do you see sorry uh what what is meant by p2p and o2c i mean you are mentioning yeah. apologies i am sorry for that i have written i mean i have written in the slide p2p is procure to pay okay yeah same way o2c is order to cash okay this is where uh, order to cash is this is where your uh, revenue involves so where you get the money right the process of marketing. This, this involves your uh, payments this involves your receipts so this involves your banks where you pay to the suppliers the order to cash involves where you receive money from customers against the sales that you made okay we'll discuss about that If, if everyone is clear on procure to pay, uh, I think we can jump into the other uh, flow quickly because we are also running, running yeah. out of time. Okay, hope the uh, P2P is clear. So uh, order to cash. Okay, so the items what we have. okay so these are the items which i have in my company in my organization 
okay let me make some color okay okay so what i do i have my items i have i have procured the material and i am doing my business i have some manufactured or finished goods these are finished goods right when i say items these are finished good items okay so what you do you what you do as an organization you have procured the material right now you have procured the material and uh, you have the finished good is in your hand now so it it is your time now go to market and uh, do this uh, sales activity make some uh, money out of it right so what it uh, what is the department of your company that uh, that talks is the sales department and so once the uh, sales department with whom sales department is going to uh, handle the sales process of your company but who is going to buy customer right the customer who use the uh, people who uh, uses this uh, uh, finished goods maybe pen and pen pencils and books those are the customers so even as we discussed you sh you should also maintain your customer uh, data as you in your uh, oracle repository to be able to invoice to the customer based on your sales okay okay so your sales department uh, does this uh, sales activity and the corresponding module which handles this process in uh, oracle is order management okay so what what the customer will do they will inquire with our sales department if it is an um, a wholesale customer there there can be different customers right uh, the maybe an wholesale customer or an end user Whoever may be, we don't care. Our objective is to find a customer. Uh, we should uh, we should sell uh, or finish it good, and we should uh, end some revenue, which which bring us some profit. That is the whole uh, agenda, right? So we are not bothered about the customer who is who is the uh, uh, who is the person from we are selling. We are just going to sell to a customer, identify a customer, and that customer we uh, we maintain in. Uh, uh, in our uh, database for which what we do so here once the customer is requested for uh, requested to our organization uh, to buy some uh, finished goods so what we do we we record that as a sales order okay so sales order where you ship to the customer right maybe uh, the uh, customer uh, based on the customer uh, ship to location we will ship the goods uh, to the respective customer right uh, we once you book uh, once you place an order in amazon so we, we, at the uh, before making payments you would give the uh, give the ship to location and also you would give the invoice location as well right so the shipping location uh, the invoicing uh, location so those are two different concepts that we will uh, discuss in detail uh, but just keep in mind you would uh, you would book an invoice which is which is called and billing to customer in oracle that is recorded uh, in the form of ar invoice or billing so accounts receivables which team of your company will do this yeah, right receive okay now what you did a customer has requested uh, the uh, some of the products uh, that has been recorded in sales order and you have shipped the uh, you have uh, once the order is uh, received what you do you ship the goods ship the goods 
to the respective customer ship to location right so this is a process once the goods are shipped what you do you invoice to the uh, you invoice to the customer that is called uh, receivable invoice or billing to customer that is handled by ar so once the customer is received based on the agreed terms and condition supplier customer is going to make the payments right so how you record how you are going to record that in the form of receipt you are receiving right you are receiving uh, money you are receiving money against which you are giving a receipt to the customer right so that is where you are receiving will, receipt will come into picture and saying that from the customer so let us say this customer is customer x you have invoiced the uh, customer and you have received the amount from the customer against the invoice against the invoice which you sent to the customer right so how a customer can pay so maybe they can uh, likewise we pay to the supplier in cash or check or electronic payment the same modes we can also expect from the customer so let us say the customer has paid maybe in cash or check or electronic right this this is where you record and this updates your uh, bank balances if it is an eft then it updates your bank balances if it is your cash balance uh, cash then you would uh, receive cash and you give the corresponding receipt so once it is uh, received again the last step is, is your reconciliation okay so this is the standard o2c flow that you follow right there is an other uh, process flows as well in o2c uh, we have an uh, books as well right so books we are not manufacturing correct that was the assumption we made right we are going to procure from outside of the market and we we are procuring from the outside of the market and uh, we are selling direct uh, we are selling uh, to the uh, whatever the customer who are re retail wholesale or end user who are maybe but keeping some margin right i mean whatever the price we buy we we don't do. we don't do social service right a company does such, any of the company do, do the social service no it is the objective is to make profits so what is this process let us say you i mean the, the beautiful example of this uh, process uh, which is uh, i'm going to talk right now is the the e-commerce wherever you place an order in amazon or flipkart whatever the portals does all the items available on the portal are manufactured by the amazon not so what it will what it does is once it, it displays all the customers all the items uh, in the item catalogs what you go you simply log in and uh, uh, you simply log in and check why you, you want you are going to buy a mobile and you simply log in and you you would definitely see the best uh, uh, a deal who can give at the lesser price right so since the so what it will do is there is an number of customers customer one customer two customer three uh, will quote i'm sorry so customer number customer one two three quotes uh, their uh, mobiles uh, their product on amazon at a different price okay so once you you select the order what happens in back end behind the scenes what happens amazon from the uh, from the customer one so when when you observe on the order so you would see the uh, uh, returner in your return policies you would see this has to be written some xx address right so from uh, from the supplier so you are the customer so here is the supplier right i'm sorry okay so let us say you are going to buy an uh, uh, mobile
so there are different vendors you have chosen to uh, uh, select this order so what once you click on the uh, order confirmation what happens is amazon will send the uh, notification to this supplier saying that saying that the mobile whatever you order has to be delivered to the customer whoever right alex at a given ship to location okay now there are two processes so the vendor who 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 has listed with the e-commerce portal they can directly send they can directly ship this mobile to you that is option one right anyone aware of this process okay yes yes this is called back to back order b2b process okay so what do you do you order with you place an order with amazon but the uh, supplier who supplies that material directly going to ship to you that is one of the process and the option two is as an entity amazon what it do is what it does is it first ask the supplier to ship this material to amazon inventory amazon facilities once it receives into their facilities from from amazon facilities amazon may ship to you according to the uh, requirement so it is the another concept called dropship these are the two different processes and uh, just you should uh, be aware i mean the general process that everyone asked in the interview is the, is the uh, when you are asked to tell about the o2c process you can directly tell about this one just for information purpose these are the other process that exist in the uh, business process so that i have explained okay so wh where we are involved again we are involved only the only in ar piece of our interaction right the uh, billing to your customer and uh, receiving the money from the customer and reconciliation with your bank right so the finance finance consult where exactly the finance consultant uh, involves in this uh, both p2p and otc process, processes payables receivables and cash management the ultimately this entire process is uh, going to interact with gl that we would uh, discuss once we are into the application so any questions on the otc flow okay. uh, looking at the time it is 8 55 so i think we can I have application, but sh shall we go for uh, Q and A? If anyone has any questions, because we have only five minutes time, takes time. Maybe in next session, uh, we will uh, go through the uh, the application uh, side. Tirupati, uh, I have a question. Yeah. Um, so once the goods manufactured, like you know, to just. Uh, um, the finance department will involve in uh, uh, creating the costs of the products no 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 that is that is handled by casting so you don't need to be an expertise in that so so far i mean for the experience you are looking for hardly for two to three years consulting no one expects no one expects you to be an expertise no one expects you to know the casting concepts so casting is uh, again it's a headache for SEM. let them to do Okay. Finance consultant, if you have an exposure or forecasting, yes. I mean, see, each process, it talks to the finance department in any company, right? So be it your procurement, be it your sales department, your uh, HR department, uh, 
whatever the department it involves cash right whether you receive or pay so it interacts yeah. with finance so if you know the concept that is well and good it is an added advantage for you uh, to grow in your uh, career but it is not it is not the uh, statement that you should know okay it is not at all required i mean for an for a consultant who is going for uh, try for an two to three years of experience it is not at all required you should be get familiar with at least two to three modules that's enough Okay. Yeah, Tirupati. Yeah, please. Uh, uh, here you mentioned the example ABC uh, one to this company is manufacturing pens and pencils. Is, is it manufacturing also books or not? I mean, here you mentioned. No, books are we are procuring. We are not manufacturing uh, in our manufacturing plant. We are just okay. procuring this finished product from the market. and we sell it to the customers let us say if you take as an example uh, you have uh, the uh, publications right uh, the uh, uh, not the publication the book stores mm -hmm. they are not the manufacturers they just yeah. procure the books from the uh, publications or the open source whatever the uh, whatever the source they have and uh, they uh, sell yeah. it to the maybe an wholesale customer or end user yes. by keeping some margin margin is there revenue yeah correct yes so yes that that process how you do it is an o to c i mean uh, again uh, the finished product you buy from the supplier and the same without making any uh, addition to that book you directly sell it is not an i mean it, this is the general practice okay. just for understanding purpose uh, i have i had put that intentionally i had put that uh, example finished good product I mean, in that scenario, there is no. I mean, uh, P two P is not involved in that scenario. P two P is involved, but you are not procuring the material, raw material. You are procuring and finishing okay. good. Okay. You are you are you are selling some products, and I came to you. Uh, I mean, you are a uh, distributor of some F N C G good. I came to your shop. Boss, give me a uh, give me a uh, hundred packs of Maggie. Obviously, you have to procure for somewhere. So for that, it is your process that you procure from the uh, available vendor in the market. You keep the you keep that uh, inventory in your warehouse, and whenever the customer comes, you execute that say order, right? Yeah. Uh, got it. Thank you so much. yeah thank you any questions here please please ask any question yeah tirupati in this p2p and otc whatever you told us no so in that only at the time of uh, payment and at the time of receipt only in these uh, scenario only finance consultant is uh, involved in that so other than that it is only for our knowledge am i correct Exactly. Exactly. Okay. okay. AP, AP, uh, AP is uh, AP involves for uh, supplier invoice creation and making payments. And once the uh, you would pay the uh, payments from your banks, right? That is handled by your cash management. So obvious step we have is the reconciliation for that process. That is from the O to C leg. Uh, sorry, P to P leg. From O to C leg, uh, what I had explained is the receivables, the billing to your customer. and uh, record the receipts uh, uh, from the customer and uh, reconciliation with your bank which is again which is handled by the the last step is handled by your cash management so ap ar cash management these are involved from finance track in this uh, examples and those are part of finance so the rest all procurement inventory order management are handled by different tracks procure, procurement and scm we are not bothered about that but as part of this course we are going to discuss the uh, required setups as part of this course i mean we are going to discuss uh, discuss about them and we are going to configure them as well yeah exactly i want to know that only in this course you are telling about as you said in ap invoice booking and payment 
okay at this time of uh, supplier also uh, invoice booking and uh, receipt Correct. Okay, in this course, you are telling only for these four and apart or apart from that, or you're going to tell about this uh, uh, purchase order uh, creation background, as you said, and as well that, as vendor uh, masters, supplier masters. So you are also covering we, these topics also. Sure, we'll, we'll, that's what I said. We are going to, the focus would be as a consultant, the focus would be for finance track, the focus would be on finance modules. but the uh see uh invoice has to be landed in your uh, ap correct you should know the uh, it is not the man only the manual invoice flow that we see we should know the p2p flow as well right uh, so if, uh, for that we would need the uh, the procurement the purchase order the inventory how you meant it we are going to see those uh, configurations and flows as well so to your uh, question in short we are going to cover the entire process, but it is up to you what you observe. Did I answer your question? Okay, okay. so you mean to say you'll cover P2P, O2C, as well as cash management? Exactly. Okay. Any questions further? Any question, whatever spark in your mind, please ask. Maybe question related to your subject, maybe question related to your technology, maybe question related to your career, what is what you are expecting. I mean, there might be some purpose uh, for you to join this, right? I mean, any question related to that also you can ask. One thing I would uh, like to let you know all uh, guys is that, so uh, ERP, take your decision. Uh, ERP is the right platform to grow anyone. It is not that I'm here, I'm, I'm saying that I'm here. Because ERP, it is a continuous process. I mean, it exists. As long as the business exists, ERP exists. So as long as we exist, business exists so it is a thumb rule right so erp is it exists always and coming back to the uh, whatever we are discussing oracle i mean it is one of the finest technology so and uh, coming back to the uh, frequent changes in technology that is not going to happen uh, with erp unlike the other tools in the market maybe you would see some reporting tools you would see some uh, testing tools, different technologies are available in the market. I'm not saying those are not good, but the ERP is the best one, which never changes frequently. And it gives at least security uh, to your career. Once you learn, you can just uh, you can just move on this technology. That's it. Whatever the updates you get, one or two updates that you can update. From my technology, I have been I have been working with uh, this technology for 12 years, and uh, only one major change, right? I mean, from I was working, I started my career uh, from EBS and moved into Fusion. So there was some uh, ladder which I had, uh, uh, which uh, which I had switched from the EBS to the Fusion. It was not a big deal since since I know the techniques. Just it is the way of representation. That's it. So the bottom line is it is a good one if you have chosen but take your wise decision and move accordingly so another thing is this is the quarter right now we are uh, expecting the uh, q3 there is going to be a huge hiring in the market definitely because every company starts their financials from uh, january right so the i mean the customers when i say customers are the other countries not in india so every company tries to recruit uh, strengthen their employee count strength bench so that we would in general any time we would expect a great volume of hiring in the last quarter so i would request you to take a wise decision and go for it and get get a job by at least by the end of this year Any questions?
No Tirupati. Fine. Okay. So if there are no questions, I think we can wind up for today. Uh, we'll see you on Monday.